And then when Gregerson came in uh, for Indiana State, uh, big key to, to the W for them. He pitched extremely well, um, you know, logged some innings late uh, with, with the pressure on and pounded the strike zone and, um, you know, sealed our fate, uh, unfortunately. Um, so it was a disappointing game. Um, our guys fought. Brennan had a great day, uh, not just this game, but the, the game against North Carolina. Michael Seegers, when we had a bunch of guys that that had um, awesome games tonight, and we played extremely hard. I couldn't be prouder of our team, and you know it's kind of been the the, the elephant in the room. But uh, we did all this, you know, missing one of the best hitters in the country for the last 20 games, and uh, you know our one of our top open arms and all of our backup catchers, and you know um, a lot of teams. Uh, would have folded the tent a long time ago. And we fought to the very end and, uh, you know, gave ourselves a chance today, um, even though it didn't didn't come through to be playing on Monday was the goal. And um, I just couldn't be prouder of this group. They, I said, night one, they, they bring it every single day. They play, they play the game the right way. They play hard, they play together, and they're a great team. And um, yeah, I'm sad it's over because I feel like um, break here or there or we made it we you know we would have made pitches when we needed to um, you know we would have been a, in a different situation but we didn't and we tip our hat to Indiana State because they did and they got it done all right this time we will open it up for questions for the student athletes again raise your hand state your name media affiliation please yeah Patrick Eber with D1 baseball Brennan and Zach just wanted to talk you know with both of you playing at different schools a year ago, transferring into Iowa. Your impressions coming to this program from finishing the season. You know, I know this game didn't go the way you wanted, but you finished the season on a high note. Yeah, uh, I'll go first. I, I was at the same school for four years, and I can't say enough about how hard the coaching staff here at Iowa works um, pregame all throughout the fall just to get us mentally prepared. And I think that is a huge piece of our of our confidence throughout the season was just knowing how much work we were able to put in and how much work the coaches were able to put in so that we were able to be fully prepared and um, as well as like the team. I can't I can't say enough about how they all came and welcomed me and Zach with open arms and um, met some really good people and some cool cool friends, uh, cool friendships I'll have for the rest of my life. Yeah, definitely uh, appreciate the coaching staff so much. I mean, came here a lot because of them and because we wanted to play in a regional and that happened and I mean we came up short but so much preparation to get here and so much hard work and I mean couldn't have done it with a better group of guys. Target Southern from the Des Moines Register. Zach just I mean the pitching restrictions were obviously pretty evident coming into this game but how much was it to just kind of fight through and know it was going to be an uphill battle but um, you know, just keep pushing through it and hope something finally stuck. Yeah, I mean, I, I definitely didn't go into it expecting an uphill battle. Um, things didn't go the way we wanted to early, but, I mean, just kept going with the next pitch and focusing on that and controlling what I could control, which was uh, putting the ball in the zone. And I think the guys did a great job behind me to help me do all that. So, yeah. Any more questions for the student athletes here? Again, if you do, raise your hand. All right, guys, that'll be it for you guys. Congrats on a great season. To All right, we'll now open up for co or questions for Coach. If, again, if you have a question for Coach, raise your hand. You know, Coach, last night you talked about, and even after game one today, you know, that you weren't, you know, the great position coming in today. But still, even throughout that game, you know, you were still competing and still had a chance What's the message you tell your team in the dugout in that situation just to keep them loose and just to keep them focused? No, it's just keep fighting and keep trying to find a way and uh, trying to get the pitchers um, that were going into the game that hadn't been in there in a while to, to just, you know, take a deep breath and go one pitch at a time and pound the strike zone. And if, um, you know, we were going to go down, um, you know, make them make them hit it. And, you know, unfortunately, that wasn't the case. I mean, we like I said, we couldn't find – we couldn't find anyone um, that came in and did a great job of, of, of just pounding the zone. And uh, there were flashes here or there, but um, 
you know, I think we had 10 hit by pitches. I don't know if that's a record or not, but it, I mean, it was just tied. I mean, but just tons of free bases and, and then jams you had to fight out of, which, you know, um, during that court, during the course of that game, we did fight out of a lot of jams, but um, no, it just shows you the character of the team and, and how hard they fought. I mean, we all, we all really believed that we were going to find a way to score more runs tonight, uh, regardless of what happened. And, um, you know, Luke Llewellyn had been in the last two days and didn't have a lot in the tank. And, you know, there was hope of not using two or three of those guys uh, tonight if it had gone well um, and, and, you know, had a little a little better situation for tomorrow. But there there is no tomorrow if you don't win today. So we, we just ran everybody out there that we could. And, you know, and, and the, the message, the message heading into the off season is that, you know, if you if you want to be out there, if you want the ball, then you know you, you have to you have to throw strikes, and um, we'll go to work on it. We got a ton of guys uh, back off of this team. Um, you know, you know you don't you don't want to look at it right now, but I mean this team has a chance to be pretty special next year with the potential starters that we have and uh, some of the recruits that we have coming in, and a lot of the position players. Um, you know should be back or you know at least decent chance uh, we'll be back you know with some some borderline draft guys and um, you know I just feel like that um, this was really important for us to get back to a regional and you know a lot of people say you know they didn't get in they didn't get in and you know things have changed in the last three or four years with how how it's going to get in and um, you know having teams good enough to do what we did today or win regionals then not get the chance to play it was important that we broke the ice and got back in and you know hopefully um, how we played and you know what we were able to do even missing you know some some really good players um, kind of showed everybody that we certainly belong and that we certainly could have won if things you know would have gone our way and um, I, I think it's important that um, all those guys that are coming back um, had this experience and they were able to sit there and watch um, Indiana State celebrate and you know it's a it's a good reminder for how hard we have to work and what we have to do um, you know starting here pretty soon to uh, get ready to go and make a run next year. I know it's always hard um, right after a game like this when your season ends to to try to have a message to the team, but what did you, you know, tell them those first few moments after the game, knowing that your season is over? Um, not a whole lot, because <laughs> I wasn't real happy um, with with how it had gone, and felt like we, you know, squandered some opportunities. And um, we'll talk um, after. We usually wait and talk, and we usually don't talk right after. I think that uh, when you do that, sometimes uh, you know no one wants to listen, and you say things that maybe you wish you hadn't. So <laughs> we always take a pause and. Um, and we'll, we'll have a good talk uh, about everything and about the season. But the thing I was saying, I was telling all the guys who um, are coming back that, you know, watch, watch what's going on and that's us next year. And um, that, that should motivate you um, to do the work and put in the time and do the things that it takes, um, you know, to, to, win a, a, to win a regional and have a chance to go compete to go to Omaha, which is where we want to be, and not just go there, but go and compete to win a national championship. And um, that was the reminder from me to a lot of the guys who were um, were watching the celebration and then obviously um, thanking the guys who aren't coming back. Wait, we'll let Dargan here in front. Rick, you, you touched on it a little bit, but the guys you threw today, particularly the, the freshmen, um, what do you hope this moment teaches them and, and maybe reemphasizes to them about, you know, what, what it takes to, to get through this weekend? Um, well, any time that you can put them in situations like they were in tonight, it's going to pay dividends down the road. And that's why I felt like it was really important, um, you know, to get um, Kate Obermuller out there and, and Aaron Savory and um, two guys who, you know, once they get it, figured out are going to be pretty good. And I think that, um, you know, being out there tonight will, will definitely help them uh, grow and develop. And a lot like um, Brody and Marcus were able to do and fight through things early in the season, um, this will be the start of that for, for them and, and going into uh, summer ball for, for both those guys. And 
um, and then really having a great fall. I think we have time for one or two quick more questions for Coach. Coach, um, after going through a 13-inning marathon um, earlier today and then having to navigate through the emotions of that and then the highs and lows of um, tonight's game, how does how do you just get your team to just stay kind of locked in in the moment? Because I know getting the emotions and highs and lows of a game <laughs> can probably <laughs> wear on wear on the guys out there. No, it was a it was um, you know it was a, a tough game in, in game one and a long game, but um, you know we just we just talked talked about the fact that um, you know we could be tired later <laughs> and uh, how you feel is overrated. We just need the best you can be with how you are right now and. Um, that we just needed to rally around each other and um, get our minds right to come out and be super disciplined with the strike zone and try to take advantage of any freebies they give us and then do damage when they did and just all the stuff we normally talk about, but it just really um, talk, to, talk the most about getting everybody's mind right that we needed to be in attack mode and we needed to come into this knowing that we had to, um, we had to you know, score some runs and um, hopefully outscore them and then also play really good defense and, and make run-saving defensive plays. And, you know, the, the guys the guys um, did a great job of, of bouncing back and, um, you know, came out and gave a great effort and fought hard, but just came up short. All right, Coach, I think that's what we have for you. Yeah, Thank you I got so one much. More, I got one more thing. I just okay. want to say um, um, thanks to, um, you know, Indiana State, their administration, um, all the people here who uh, who made this event happen. I know it's a lot of work, and um, and we just you know it was really good to see uh, Terre Haute show up and support uh, the Sycamores. You know, full house every time they played, and uh, really good atmosphere. And um, you know, just appreciate all that um, you know those guys did for us.